Good morning and welcome to day three of the European Canoe Polo Championships 2019 from Coimbra in Portugal. Competition organized by the Portuguese Canoe Federation and the European Canoe Association. First game on pitch two this morning is an under 21s game. Group, group stages, second round between Germany and France. Lining up for Germany, we have Helke Vott, Annika Knofel, Hannah Kunz, Nina Haschenberg, Nelle Schmelbach, Lotta Bendig, Jules Schwartz, Catherine Grunwald. And for France, we have Colleen Belcher, Maron Robert, Angel Garcia, Mathilde Benoit, Laura Salio, Camille Meyer, Gail Bale, and Camille Bretisher. These girls, all under 21, our referees for this morning are Mazena Anjak Ginter and David Vigenti. As the game gets underway with that first sprint, France first to the ball, and they do get the, the first sprint. This is a second round game, looking for their seedings for semi-finals at the moment. These two teams, both first and second in their group, equal on points, but Germany just ahead on goal difference. So, first place will cross over to second place from the other group. So, very important game going into the semi-finals later on this morning. And Germany blocked that ball down, try to pick it up, but it gets away from them. Drop ball then by France, giving possession back to Germany. Germany making their first attack of the game, long ball up the field there. And the shot's on and in, that's Schwartz from Germany. Making the first goal for the Germany under-21s team this morning. Germany leading. One goal to nil. Just over a minute played. And France take their first shot. Off the bar and out of play. Giving the ball back to Germany. Goal line throw for Germany. Germany once again attacking. France setting up their zone. But being pushed back by the German attackers. Germany making headway into this area. And a second shot, and again, a second goal. That's Haschenberg for Germany, taking the score to two goals to nil. France looking for the reply here. These players aged between 15 and 21. And a shot there, long shot from out wide by Mayer, but over the top of the bar and out of play, giving possession back to Germany once again. <laughs> Supporters out here for this under 21 game, nice and early this morning. Don't know if you can hear them in the background, they're chanting for their teams. So, Germany bringing that ball up from the back, from the goal line throw. Less than three minutes played and Germany's already ahead. And that's a shot picked up once again by Germany. It's kept in play and that's a third goal. 
That's Kunz from Germany with the third goal of this game. Three goals scored in just two and a half minutes. French team really need to get something going here. Long shot once again, put over the bar by the German goalkeeper. So this time we're out for a corner. No, my mistake. I'm at the other end of the field. It is a goal throw. Germany just taking their time, bringing the ball up the field, looking for that space. Ball goes into the zone. Shot and saved this time by Robert from uh, France. Ball going out for a corner. Corner to be taken by Hackenberg, being closely marked by Salio. Long ball across the pitch though. French putting pressure on the German team this time and picking up that loose ball. They have a man away down the field, but she has no support at the moment. No support. Ball goes back to Belker. Long shot and that's in the net. So, France with the reply now. One goal to Germany's three. German under 21 women's team, silver medalists at the last European Championships two years ago, while the French team were in fifth place. But changes in the under 21 teams are very frequent as players age out. Mistake there by Germany, giving France that ball back. Garcia just taking it up the pitch. Back now, dropping it back. Pressure on from the German team, though. Belka, Robert, and back out. French team taking a bit more time now. And it's another goal to France. Great reply from France. France seemed to have settled into this game now. Just taking a bit more time and getting the composure. Bringing that score back within one. Of Germany looking, looking for that shot but blocked down by the defender this time. And Germany out, clock reset. They've taken that shot, so they've got time to build again. Taking the ball right out to halfway, looking to bring it in now. Looking for that shot. And shot comes in from Hackenberg, but not on this time. And a second one off the bar. Kunz just bouncing that shot off the bar, back into play. Goes out for a sideline throw. France with the ball. Can France equalise on this attack? They'll certainly be looking to. That's a long shot. Great block by the German defender, Hackenberg, there. There's a foul right down under the goal there. Holding foul, giving Germany that ball. French team certainly settled in now, keeping this score close. Germany will look to extend their lead on this attack again. Just over three minutes left of this half. 
as the ball goes into the centre. But deflection there. Who's going to pick this one up? Germany have picked up that loose ball. French defence trying to drive these German players out. But there's an illegal tackle in the defensive area. So France have the turnover. Long ball up the pitch there. Bale has a shot. Oh, it goes out for a corner this time. Well defended by Germany. Garcia to take the corner for France. And there's another foul there, a holding offence. Giving Germany the possession. Time out, says the referee. And that's a green card to number one from France. First green card of the game. And that's a holding offence. So Germany take the ball from just beyond halfway. France coming out to put the pressure on. Once again, hitting the players with the ball, chasing that ball down. Germany just taking their time, passing the ball around. Great save there from Robert. Corner ball to Germany. Schwarz to take for Germany. Timeout says the referee, just getting in, getting the players in position in that corner. Ball to be retaken. Just over one minute left to play of this first half. Germany looking to extend their lead before half time. Taking their time. But holding foul there. Player just hanging onto the ball for more than five seconds. So the ball gets put into the hands of France. France have the rest of the play of this half if they choose to make it work like that. Shot clock is with them. Poor pass there, but managed to rescue that. Salio was the rescuer there, taking the ball back. 30 seconds left in this first half. France just looking for the right shot. 10 seconds left. Can they get a shot away before half time? Ball deflected there. Picked up by France, but too late. So as we go into half time, it is Germany three. France 2. These two groups, top of this group at the moment, looking for semi-final places, but it's who will go through first and who will go through second. As the teams go over to talk to their respective coaches, just like to say thank you to the sponsors of this European Canoe Polo Championships 2019. That is Quimbra City Council, University of Quimbra, Club Flivel de Quimbra, who are the local canoe club, Jogos Santa Casa, Upin Sports, and the Portuguese Institute for Youth and Sport. Germany have had 60% possession throughout the first half of this game with nine shots on goal, seven on target. France, seven shots with four on target. 
And we have only one green card in the first half of this game, and that is to France. We will be back with you very shortly with the second half of this game. Welcome back to the second half of this under-21 women's match between Germany and France. The team's just lining up. And they're underway. So the second half sprint gets underway. Oh, ball bounces out of French hands. And Grunwald picking that up for Germany. Germany leading at the moment, three goals to two. The result of this match will decide who takes the top spot in this group going into the semi-finals later on this morning. Loose ball there, picked up by France. Over to the goalkeeper. Can she keep it in? Oh, blocked down again by Germany, though. And that's a paddle foul to Germany in the French defensive area. They're taking it further out, just taking their time. French had a bit of a shaky start in the first half with Germany scoring three goals. And then they've took the comeback. So they are only one goal behind now. But Germany looking to get ahead again, driving into the French defence. Taking their time. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. What can Germany do with that? And that's a shot from Germany. Grimwall, but saved by Robert. Out for a corner. Robert making some great saves against this German team this morning. Germany just taking their time once again. The shot clock reset after their corner. Bringing that ball up. Players in the French zone there. But no pass, no shot there. Ball comes back out. French working hard in this defensive zone. They have three players across the back and one player in front. Three and one defence. Just trying to close all those gaps, keeping the German players out. Germany come in though. They found some space. There's two of them in that gap. Can they get the shot away? No, it is blocked down. Great work from France, but drop back out straight into the hands of Grimwall, who scores for Germany. Unfortunate there for France. 
Ball's dropping straight back into the hands of the German player. Germany now lead four goals to two. Long shot from France and straight back at them. Robert with a reply from France straight away. Only one goal in it again now. Germany four, France three. And a long shot from Germany. Bounces off the bar, back into play. France pick up that loose ball though. Oh, pressure on the French player there, but giving away a foul, legal kayak tackle. France get the ball and the shot clock reset. France just working the ball around the back. They've one player inside the German zone. She's been driven right back, so don't think the ball's going to come through to her at the moment. Salio working hard, and she's dropped back out to the front of that zone. Ball goes across. Great space there, but a great save by the German keeper, Bendy. Good shot from Belk here, but that was saved. Trying to equalise here. France on the attack. Corner ball for France being taken by a breccia. Oh, long ball, but not picked up. She dropped that, went straight out of the back of her hand. Number eight from France has managed to pick that up. That's Brecher. Seeing the loose ball. German defence driving the French players out, but... Oh! And that's Meyer from France with the goal. Bendig did get her paddles to it, but power on that shot just made it go further back and drop straight into the net. So, France 4, Germany 4. Referees calling, holding foul, asking the player just to come over. That's number five from France, Salio. Speaking to the referee. So, German ball, just outside the six meter, ball in, and a shot, but deflected down. France with the attack now. Looking for a pass, nobody there, just recycling the ball to the back. Yeah. Keeping the ball safe, Germany just pushing out to the player with the ball. Putting pressure on where they can. Oh, and the ball's not picked up there, but Robert making sure for France that she has got her hands on it. Picking up that loose ball, making it safe. Shot clock's just ticking down. Only 15 seconds left on that shot clock. But that is a shot way, way too high. No composure there. She needed to stop and think a little bit. So Germany have the attack now. Goalkeeper Bendy just taking that ball from the goal line.
Some great skill with both these teams, both experienced teams. Have a lot of support from their nations, France and Germany. Always done well around the Canoe Polo Championships. Under 21 Polo has been supported from both of these nations right from the start of the competitions in the European and World stage. So Germany corner, Schmallenbach to take the corner for Germany. Long ball out, bit too long, but she has got her hands on that. France putting a bit more pressure on the German team. And that's a shot from Germany, bounces off the top bar and out of play for a sideline throw to France. Four goals each, two and a half minutes to play. Winner of this game will go through top of this group. At the moment, Germany will go through on goal difference if it stays as a draw. So France looking for the shot. And that's number three, fantastic shot there from Garcia. Garcia taking the French team ahead. Great work there. Two minutes left to play. Everything, everything can change in two minutes. As we've seen, these shots going in either end of this, this pitch within seconds of each other. So have Germany got the reply that they had earlier? We shall see. And that's a paddle foul. So Germany have the shot clock reset to 60 seconds. Timeout, says the referee. Player being called over. That's the French player. I believe that was Mayer. So Germany start their 60 seconds, minute and a half left to play of this game. Have Germany got the reply? And a shot but blocked down by the keeper this time, picked up by, by the German player. And into the centre, they're looking for a shot. Well saved, fantastic save from Robert there. But down it comes and back into the hands of Germany who Belke has scored that goal for Germany. The equaliser once again. Okay, one minute left. Pressure coming from Germany now on the French team. They're pushing out a little bit further as the ball goes back. They have dropped back into their zone. France looking to attack. And a shot from France, out for a corner. Great save by the keeper. Ben Dix done some great work, but Belker from France to take the corner. 26 seconds left. All the play, all the shot clock for France at the moment. What can they do with it? Oh, and it goes wide. Deflected by the German keeper once again. 10 seconds left. Long ball out. Shot blocked down by the defender there. And that is time. What a fantastic game by these two under 21 women's teams this morning. Result, five goals to France, five goals to Germany. So, a draw, I believe, will put Germany through top of that group.
Excellent game by both teams. Very young players. Great composure. Okay, so final stats on that game. Germany with 57% of the play, France 43. German shots, 19, 15 on target. France, 14 shots with 10 on target. Final score, five goals each. And we will be back on pitch two shortly with an under-21 men's game between France and Poland. We will see you soon. <laughs> 